What's up, co reporters? Welcome back to my channel. This video is for Love is Blind lovers currently watching season five of the show. I've got some alleged tea about a certain star of the show named Milton that I want to share with you because sharing is caring and we're peeps, okay? So this is a major, major spoiler alert. I'm going to tell you whether or not he gets married on the show. Allegedly, of course, right? Allegedly married on the show. Um, in addition to other info. So if you would not like to know if, uh, spoiler alert, um, he ends up marrying the girl that he's engaged to, who is, drum roll, take the time to exit if you don't want to know. Um, Lydia, stick around. No, I mean, exit the video. But if you do want to know if these two ultimately end up getting married, keep on watching. So there's a special little app called TikTok, okay? And about a couple months ago, a woman claiming to have been Milton's most recent ex, the girl he was with just before signing up for the show or like leaving to film the show, she went on and she revealed a lot of information about him and her relationship with him and how things end up playing out for him on the show. All of this is unconfirmed and alleged, of course, right? But in her um, video, she claimed that she and Milton had been dating and everything was going well. She had no inkling that there were any problems in the relationship. He was thinking about leaving her, literally nothing. Until one day, he just out of the blue dips. Um, he's like, oh, well, um, I, I've got some things to think about, some things to do. And um, it later turns out that he had left her specifically to film Love is Blind, allegedly. So if her story is to be believed, then Milton went into the show already in a relationship looking for some sort of fame or as Josh from Love is Blind season four likes to call it, clout, right? And I find that to be a very disturbing thing, to be honest with you. Like, it's really crazy. Like, the types of people, or should I say frightening, the types of people that are attracted by reality television. Reality television seems to attract a lot of contestants who are, in my opinion, on the sociopathic or narcissistic like scale of things. Am I saying that Milton is a sociopath? No. Am I saying that Nis Milton is a narcissist? No. But I am saying that reality TV tends to attract these sorts of people, people who fall on the spectrum in one way or another. And if the story that this woman who is claiming to be his ex says is true, that he left her in the middle of a perfectly fine relationship to pretend to be single and looking for love on Love is Blind, then yeah, I would say he 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 might fall somewhere on the sociopathic scale, okay? Um, it is a spectrum at the end of the day. And these this sort of behavior is just abnormal and what I would consider to be antisocial. So moving right along, um, we saw in episode four that Milton ultimately wound up getting engaged to his Puerto Rican princess, Lydia. Um, I personally never saw this relationship happening. Like I didn't think that they would get engaged. I didn't think that they would get married. Like it felt like Lydia just wanted somebody, anybody to fall in love with her and want to be with her and to propose to her. But, you know, just to prove to herself that it is possible and that she can get that level of commitment out of somebody. But, you know, sometimes you want something, then you get it. And then you realize, you know what, like, this is not really what I want for the rest of my life. You know, this doesn't actually suit me and my life goals. Like we are just not compatible for the long term and whatnot. So I always said to myself, even if they do end up getting engaged, she's going to end up kind of like sobering up to like the age difference and whatnot, similar to the way that Jessica did in season one, when she got married to Mark, who was 10 years younger than her, right? But now, according to Milton's TikToking ex-girlfriend, things actually get a little bit deeper than we had imagined. Yes, his ex-girlfriend is claiming that Milton and Lydia, another chance for you guys to exit out of this video if you don't want to spoil it, because there's nothing more annoying for me as a YouTuber than people who go into these like videos knowing that they haven't finished the show or they don't want spoilers. They watch the full thing and they complain that they got spoilers, okay? So this is the last chance. Don't come bitching to me about spoilers, okay? So according to his ex-girlfriend, Melton and Lydia, ultimately, at the altar, both 
end up saying, I do. And they get married. Again, this is all unverified. It's all alleged. She, um, the, I don't even know what to say, you guys, because I cannot see this like actually working out as a real marriage. This could play out similar to the marriage we saw between, I am forgetting his name, Val, Val something and Karen on Love is Blind Brazil, the most recent uh, season, where the guy, he was just looking for attention. And so he agreed to marry her. But the whole time he had a girlfriend on the outside and he immediately dumped her, um, you know, when they were done filming and whatnot. Like this could be like a situation of that. Now, Val, I think it was Valmir or something like that. Um, he wound up staying with his girlfriend after the show and everything like that. So she must have been just as sick as him. But Milton's girlfriend seemed to have completely been, you know, done with him, washed her hands of him and their relationship. So I don't see that being like, you know, something that she supported or anything like that. So um, I just got to say, I, if all of this ends up being true, that he ends up making it to the altar with Lydia and that they both end up getting married and everything his girlfriend, you know, put out there before the season even started airing is true, then I will be really skeeped out and creeped out by him. You know, we all know Lydia is a very desperate, delicate, fragile woman who would be better off seeking therapy or some sort of help for her self-esteem instead of getting married to, you know, random people on this show. But the idea that a person like Milton with all of his sob stories that he shares, like on every episode of the show and whatnot, you know, just pretending to be this really genuine person for him to turn out to be a super disingenuous person who would hurt, you know, devastate, blindside his girlfriend, his serious girlfriend in this capacity, just to be on a television show. Like if that turns out to be true, I am going to be truly, truly, truly disgusted by that man, you know, and I hope that she continues to bring out the receipts and continues to blast him because that sort of behavior needs to be exposed to like its maximum capacity and shamed as much as possible because it's sickening, it's creepy, and it's completely um, unacceptable, you know, like using people as a means to an end um, in this way, you know, discarding your girlfriend, using Lydia and whatnot for like reality television fame, really Milton in 2023, when you can just make your own fame on the internet, like that is truly, truly, truly pathetic. And to actually full blown get married, just to really kind of like secure your spot and um, try to get as much fame as possible. Like I cannot even imagine the level of desperation that that would take. Now, like I said at the beginning of this video and throughout the entire video, all of this is alleged information. None of it is confirmed, okay? But um, just, just take it for what it is. Let me know what you think about all this. If you have any more tea on Milton and this situation in particular, please don't spoil any other couples or relationship situation from this season of the show. Please do make sure to leave it in the comment section and we'll all continue dishing together, okay? Um, are you shocked to hear this sort of like news and tea coming out about this guy? I got to be honest with you guys. I really am. You know, I thought that, you know, I fell for his persona. I really thought that he was like this nerdy guy who for whatever reason was super desperate to get married at 24 years old. But now with all this stuff coming out, like it's looking like it's a lot deeper and darker than that. But Again, reality television attracts a lot of very bad people. Not saying Milton's a bad person, but if all this stuff comes out to be true, confirmed to be true, then yes, I will be saying on the record that I think he's a bad person. But innocence until proven guilty, okay? So let's continue to watch this season play out in the meantime, okay? Like I said, any tea about Milton and Lydia, leave it in the comment section. And as usual, we'll chat and the ex-girlfriend. Um, if you got her contact, make sure to um, tell her to reach out to me, email me, whatever. She can pop up on the show um, and share as much as she would like. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.